Hi everyone, my name is Isabel Maris. I'm ICF Regional Development Manager, and I'm very pleased today to welcome uh, Jerry Udelson. She's a master certified coach, and she was the lady that initiated ICW, the International Coaching Week, 25 years ago. Thanks for being with us today, Jerry. I would so much love, and I'm sure that people would also love to hear what was the story behind ICW, how it all began. Thank you for inviting me, Isabel. I'm really happy to be here and to celebrate the 25th year of Coaching Week. I started International Coaching Week. It was actually National Personal and Business Coaching Week originally in 1999 in order to promote coaching in Boston, Massachusetts, where I was living at the time. And I just wanted to create a special week where coaches could provide pro bono coaching and coaching demonstrations to the general public in order to promote coaching and also for coaches and their clients to celebrate the progress that they had made during the coaching engagement. So it was a very simple idea and it was very local. And um, I think I offered uh, complimentary laser coaching to people that were on my, I guess it was a regular snail mail list. Not, I wasn't even on email at the time at 25 years ago. And so I, I was very involved as a vice president of International um, Coach Federation New England at the time. And so we put on some, some events at bookstores to talk about coaching and do demos. And after the first year, Canadian coaches wanted to be involved. I guess they heard about it through, I'm not even sure how they heard about it. So I changed the, the name to International Coaching Week. And from that, then it grew organically. And I would try to uh, promote coaching on my own through my own clientele, through the, the New England chapter. And then I also approached people who had large mailing lists, executive coaches and coach, other coaching organizations and training organizations. And um, in about 2003, Thomas Leonard, who was, I believe, one of the founders of the International Co Coach Federation, as it was called at the time, he jumped on board and he had a huge platform. So he created a logo and had allocated money to promote coaching. But he, sadly, he passed away, I think, before we had a chance to really launch it with um, his platform. So I kept doing promoting it and it kept growing and growing to the point where I just couldn't maintain the platform. And it was just it was way beyond my capacity. As a, as a solo entrepreneur who had my own coaching business. So I contacted the ICF, and I believe it was in um, 2010 that the ICF took over International Coaching Week with the, with the Coaching um, Week platform, with the understanding that anyone who was a coach could post their events on, on, the, on the platform. So now we have... For 2023, at least almost two, 300, excuse me, 300 coaches in about offering events in probably 10 or 15 languages. And I would guess, as uh, happened last year, there'll probably be 900 events at least with maybe 30 some languages. So it's, it's astounding to me. I had no idea when I started this little idea to promote coaching that it would have such a worldwide effect, um, influence. And, and I've given talks personally. I gave a talk in, um, in Ukraine prior to the, this horrible war. I've given talks in, um, in India and other places and, and I'm doing a, um, an event in the UK this year. So it's just. It's very gratifying and it's a wonderful legacy, but it really started with such a kernel of an idea that was just, it was just the right time. So I'm really thrilled that this is the 25th year. So I would be drinking champagne, except it's only 9.30 in the morning here in um, where I live in New Mexico. Well, thank you, Jerry. I mean, who would have imagined, uh, as you said, that, that we would have such an effect and an impact and... Actually, last year, we really, really, uh, we had wonderful, we hit records uh, in terms of figures. We had 
1184 events. Can you believe that? In 30 languages. Oh, I didn't know that. 774 of these events were organized by individual coach members and all others were from chapters. So this has become just a huge initiative. And also, I mean, this is a a celebration of coaching where 60% of the events were also offered in other languages than English. So we are also here to encourage people who are not speaking English to participate and to really experience coaching and celebrate coaching with us during this wonderful International Coaching Week. So I'm sure that you must be very proud of this because you really initiated that. So I, I just can't believe how, I just can't imagine how you must feel today, how proud you must be. Well, thank you, Isabel. It's, you know, it is very gratifying. Um, the part that is most meaningful to me is, is people who are doing um, pro bono, you know, complimentary coaching, particularly for nonprofits. I've heard of events where people are working at homeless shelters or in prisons or um, coaching directors of nonprofits who can't afford um, executive coaching. So to me, that's that's great. And also just promoting the idea uh, and the importance of professional coaching, of coaches who are actually trained, accredited, and certified. I think that that's so important. So I just want to, I want to compliment the ICF for taking this on because it's, you know, it's, it's a cre- wonderful platform. And I encourage everybody who's listening to this, create an event, offer something in your community, do something on Zoom, go to a nonprofit, talk to the director and offer something there, find out what the need is, because I think that's really terrific. Thank you, Jerry. I think this is an excellent idea. So anyone can contribute, any ICF member. It can be a pro bono, a laser coaching session, even a coaching demo or a workshop or a conference, whatever you want to offer and contribute to will enable even more people to experience coaching. So I'm going to get back to facts. Last year, we had more than 31,000 people from 166 countries who participated and registered for ICW events. Isn't that amazing, Jerry? (laughs) (laughs) It's amazing. And we also had more than 52,000 people coming on the platform, looking at it. So this is really helping us bringing, you know, awareness for the profession, for the credential coach for ICF, for the ethics and the standards of the profession. So thank you so, so much for having started that initiative. Thank you on behalf of ICF. Thank you. And and Jerry, I hope you will see you on the list of events for this year. You will see me definitely. (laughs) I'm giving a a talk and I'm also offering a laser coaching to people. I will be definitely on it in English. (laughs) <laughs> Wonderful. Well, feel free to click on the link and follow the link that we will share at the end of this video so that you can actually also see the list of the events available. So you can sort them by languages, by countries, by time zone, so or also by offering. So feel free to find the best event for your needs and to celebrate coaching with us. Agreed. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, Thank you Isabel.